Welcome to President Trump Breaking News YouTube channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button next to subscribe button to get daily latest news alert. Click on the CC button to get automatic subtitle in video if you facing the difficulties in listening sound. Breaking News North Korea accuses USA of seeking nuclear war as bombers fly off Hermit State's coast. North Korea has warned the United States is seeking to ignite a nuclear war after a formation of stealth bombers skirted just miles off the coast of the secretive state. Kim Jong-un's regime said the mission had aggravated the already tense situation on the Korean Peninsula and warned the U.S. not to attempt to threaten or blackmail the North. The threat comes just days before Donald Trump is set to visit Seoul and intelligence agents have reported a nuclear or ballistic missile test by the Hermit State could be imminent. U.S. Air Force commanders yesterday confirmed a pair of B-1B stealth bombers had flown a training mission near the Korean Peninsula. The North Korean State Propaganda Service branded the drill a nuclear bomb dropping simulation. It said, the reality clearly shows that the gangster-like U.S. imperialists are the very one who is aggravating the situation of the Korean Peninsula and seeking to ignite a nuclear war. The U.S. imperialists are making last-ditch efforts to check the dynamic advance of the DPRK by deploying their nuclear strategic assets in succession, but its army and people are never frightened at such moves. The U.S. imperialist warmongers should not act rashly. Yesterday's mission is not the first time the U.S. has flown training missions close to North Korean airspace. Last month, American bombers, escorted by high-tech stealth fighters, flew just off the Hermit State's eastern coast. The sortie was reportedly the farthest north of the demilitarized zone, which separates north from south, U.S. planes have flown for decades. The Pentagon said the missions are a demonstration of U.S. resolve and showed no President Donald Trump had many military options to defeat any threat. But in response, the North Korean regime said it reserved the right to shoot down any American aircraft which flew too close, even if they are in international airspace. Mr. Trump is set to embark on a 12-day Asian tour today which will see him visit five countries, including South Korea and intelligence services in Seoul have reported a sudden flurry of activity around Pyongyang's nuclear and ballistic missile research facilities, suggesting a test may be imminent. Yesterday, a high-profile North Korean defector warned tens of millions civilians in South Korea could become a human sacrifice if Donald Trump staged a preemptive strike on Kim's regime. Ta Yong Ho, who served as a deputy ambassador at the North Korean embassy in London before he defected last year, told U.S. lawmakers North Korean commanders would not hesitate to order their troops to fire at the first sign of an attack. He told the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee thousands of artillery pieces and short-range rockets are trained on the South Korean capital Seoul and are ready to fire at any moment. He said, North Korean officers are trained to press the button without any further instructions from the general command if something happens on their side. So if there is any sound of fire or bombs or strikes from Americans, the North Korean artillery and short-range missiles will fire against South Korea. I strongly believe that if there is any preventive or surgical strike of whatever, war will be won by America and South Korea, there is no doubt about it, but we have to see the human sacrifice from this military option. So, what you think about this news please share this news to your social contacts and comment in below comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button next to subscribe button to get latest news alert daily. Thanks for watching this video. Please keep your support always.